Hi, my name is Jim. I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. I am an American. I am a United States Marine Corps vet, and I am a gun-owning Republican, and I will not be voting for Trump in the 2020 election. I don't believe my politics have changed much at all from the Republican Party I grew up listening to and listening to my dad talk to me about. Um, I think that the party has changed. I've seen it. I've seen it move too far to the right. Um, I've seen longtime Republicans like myself get called Democrats to some of the more sycophantic uh, Trump followers. I don't believe my party has changed. I think that people have, uh, by and large, treated our party or treated parties like sports teams, and they want to win no matter what they see. So my confession here you go, is I did vote for Trump in 2016. After everything that he showed me he was in the campaign in 2016, I still voted for him. And it is a uh, one of the biggest regrets I've ever had. Um, as a veteran, seeing how he talked about McCain and the uh, the I like my war heroes who haven't been captured, I I should have looked at that. It hurt when I saw it. But for some reason, I voted for him because he was an unknown. At the end of the day, I didn't know who I was going to vote for until that ballot was in front of my face. And I checkboxed Donald Trump. And it was a large, by and large, because he was an unknown. He was on every side of an argument. He didn't seem to have any real ideals. And I thought maybe, maybe because he wasn't so staunchly into an idea that when he got into office, comfortably in office, he didn't have to campaign for at least a few years, he would have been able to say, let's work across the lines. He would go after the, the far right, right extremists and try to browbeat them into coming to heel, but it never happened. It He was exactly who he showed us who we were, and I wish I would have listened to that. Um, I see him hold the party hostage and the hardest part of it is watching congressmen go into like a sycophantic rage. They're falling over themselves to please this guy. They supposed to be a co-equal branch and they have no backbone. Uh, when I saw Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham, let's talk about that for a second. He supported Bubba Wallace more than he ever uh, supported his biggest fan, John McCain, when Trump went after him. That, that's got to tell you something. Like nobody... Nobody had a backbone with this. There are very few, and the ones that have are doing it after they're leaving. They're announcing they're not going to stay, they're going to leave. And it's sad. How can I be a part of a party that doesn't have a conscience? Listen, I know politicians lie, or they stretch the truth, or they they spin things away, but never so blatantly. I mean, this guy can say one thing on the, the, the news uh, on TV, and then the next day tell you it never happened, and then watch politicians in my own party come out and say, yeah, he's right, it never happened, it's the media's fault. He's tearing down every institution that our forefathers built, and he's doing it for selfish reasons. So, it should come to no surprise that 2020, I'm voting for Biden. He's, he's moderate enough um, for me to feel like he'll bring us back from the brink of being the laughing stock of the international world. He uh, is a statesman enough that I feel like he being being in politics, I think tr we tried this experiment of put a businessman who doesn't who's not into the establishment and it didn't work. He he has done everything he can um, to tear down the institutions of America and for what? I mean, what do we realistically have at the end of the four years that he's been in? Um, when the going finally got tough, he was largely untested. And when the going finally got tough, he bailed and claimed no responsibility for it. I feel like Biden is different. I feel like he's a statesman and he pisses off the extreme left and the extreme right enough to where I feel like he can bring us back to a Congress that can work across the table collect ideas and maybe get America back on track. That is my message and I will be voting for Joe Biden.